Pop. Ah, rug lays. I knew about that and I forgot to change it, but uh, yeah, <laughs> hang on. Might actually make myself a little bit smaller too, because I'm gi ginormous, hang on. Ginormous. Yeah, I'm huge. And I'm huge. I think that's good. All right, here we go. Let's jump into it. So, we are doing the April Fools today. Um, I've just noticed the gaming text is on top of the thing. Uh, thank God. There we go. Fixed it. All right. <clears throat> oh, I got a little lint bunny here too. I've got a marble egg and a lint bunny, both amazing. I love lint eggs and marble chocolate. I actually saw the marble chocolate like was, <laughs> like people were buying it. It was really funny. I saw like a whole heap of marble eggs and no one was buying them. They were super unspecial. Um, so, let's get into it. Cerebi has made a post on Pokemon new special max raid events. Magikarp has begun. Um, and yeah, this is Jeremy Eric. He's the person who runs Cerebi. This is clearly an April Fool's joke. Uh, it's not by me. Yes, actual raids have nothing but a non-catchable Magikarp. I know I'm not fooling you. So I actually jumped onto the Cerebi page to see what the heck what happened to Cerebi? Why is it in a weird mobile version? I can't get it out of this mobile version. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, uh, we have a like weird max raids going on. We've got like a old bunnies one for Easter, I guess. Um, some egg stuff, Galarian Slowpoke. But yeah, the <laughs> April Fool's max raid is a Magic cup you can't catch? I don't understand. I don't really know what this is, but it's a weird, that's a weird April Fool's. Can you, can you, can I show my little joke? Yeah, I guess so, let's see. But yeah, here we go. I'll get through some of the, the gaming ones first. So some of these are really good, by the way. I love the gaming ones. Um, this is why I kind of wanted to do them, but uh, yeah, this one's uh, moving out is doing a like a little TV show, which is pretty freaking cute. If you haven't seen this game, I think Samurai and Pixie actually did a playthrough of it. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty cute. It actually, I think I might like this game more than like uh, the cooking one. But uh, I kind of like these, these are just fun. I, I might have to. I might have to play this with my girlfriend. This this game looks quite fun. <laughs> oh god, I love the frog. That one's my favorite. Oh, there they had it. The harmonica. Hopefully, I don't get hit by DFCA on any of this. By the way, because I have no. F There's a couple of things that have songs in them. I'm like, I don't know if these are songs that'll get me in trouble. I like this one. This one actually tickled me just because it's like it's a good play on word. Dark Siders. So the game Dark Siders have got a series of ciders that are just Dark Siders themes. I, like the the it's not too much of a thing. Some of these will be bigger, some will be smaller. Like that one was just a recording they did of the in-game. This one is like uh like that the Magic Cup was an actual in-game thing. This one is like just a fun little Photoshop thing. But yeah. Hey Queen Nora, how you doing? Wait, where's the cat? The cat is uh disappeared for a moment as Easter takes precedence. This, I transformed in my true form. Um, so this is actually something you guys can play if you want to. So uh, the Street Fighter team or Capcom have done this almost every year. Um, it is a video game uh, of like, you, I don't know, I, 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 don't, I haven't actually played it. All I know is it's got cats. We've got a cat themed game for uh, April Fools. What is this? Oh, 
I'm not gonna read all this. We got like a Holly Podiagle. So this is this is leg legit a game. So some companies go to the degree of actually making like mini games and small games and stuff. Oh my god, this is so loud. How do I? Hang on, I'll turn it down for you guys. But yeah, there's a count and a Roomba. I actually just want to get to the game part. I don't really care about whatever the story is. Hey Forts, how you doing? Wow, there's a, there's a lot of dialogue. I wasn't expecting that there was a shit ton of dialogue in whatever this is. There we go. How to play. Tap a cat, play a puzzle game, feed the cats, befriend them. Once you're friends with them, then will add them to your cat. Oh, it's like a... Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, which cat do we want to be? Cat with a hat? So, oh, they're, they're Street Fighter based. There's that cop. I don't know who that is. That's the new ninja guy. We've got Zangief. We've got uh, Tire Boy. Oh, what the fuck's his name? I forget his name. And we've got Poison. Let's go Poison. Poison's cute. All right. So is this just... Okay, all right. It's one of these games. Okay. So it's just, it's just a simple puzzle. I think there's probably not an insane amount about this. I don't know if I, I wonder if I can connect those cats. Uh, mice, not cats. Ah, oh, I stuffed up completely. Can I? Oh, you can't do one. Oh no, oh no, I'm stuffing it up. But yeah, like, these are pretty fun. I like these when, um, companies do these small, like, like projects failed anyway that's pretty cool um if you want to play it i dropped it in link in the chat um but yeah <laughs> you posted that sketch on deviant oh cool <clears throat> all right just gonna eat so i haven't finished my food bit of a chaotic stream Yeah, compute playing is pretty cute. I like that game. That that was that was just a nice little fun thing. I think it's a good way to like spread the wings of interns and stuff as well. So Hearthstone did a simple one, introducing Bob in card form. If you've played Hearthstone, Bob is actually the bartender that um during the uh one of the game modes he will allow you to switch cards in and out. Um, but he's never been an actual card, so they made a joke one where he's like. Really high damage, really high defense. He's just straight up immune, you can't hurt him. And he always has your back. I've always got your back. But, uh, that's pretty cool. Really simple. Like I said, some of these are gonna be more simple than others. Again, by the way, as much as I have a whole heap, if you guys have got some ones that you think are just funny or fun and you wanna look at, feel free to send them through. Um, I made a post on Twitter if you wanna uh, put them there or put them in Discord or just drop them in chat. But, yeah. This is uh for honor. Oh what what the heck? All the units are turned into just little like plastic men. Look at the DMs. Uh, I'm gonna do the game once first then see. But yeah. That one just is a silly animation that I guess they made in game. Are these mobile games? No, that that's for owner. I don't know why that looks kind of jank, but uh, this one is this one. I, I kind of like this one because re D makes are now like a something that's hot, which is this is a uh, control reimagined for the PlayStation One. Now, if you don't know, control is that really, really, really big like. Uh, Triple A game that got made. Very, very popular. Highly regarded. By legit. The funny thing is, certainly low, low res. I'm not sure I would necessarily say this is a uh, PlayStation 1 quality. It's kind of, kind of, kind of impossible to tell what I'm looking at in a sense.
Um, but yeah, so that's uh, Remedies one. I actually like that one. That one's pretty cool. This one I saw heaps of people talking about. I, you guys may have heard of this one. Fortnite stonk skin enters item shop for April Fools, but it's not a joke. So you guys know the stonks meme, right? Big stonks, stonks down, stonks up. Well, they're literally adding stonks man to Fortnite. I... What is the Fortnite game? I don't even know. There you go. This, this is the content that you've all been waiting for, right, chat? Fortnite dances on stream. Wait, is that Llama from... That Llama... Oh, that Llama is from Fortnite. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a Fortnite fan, I guess, now you can be Stonks, man. I wonder how many people are going to do it. Deathloop put out Death Loops, A cereal brand with Death Loops. Death Loops is a new game coming out uh, soon. TM? I don't actually know the date of the release, but looks all right. Looks kind of fun. Um, and that's just a fun little play on their box. Again, another play on words. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Sonic. G Fuel teamed up with Sega to make a G Fuel. Oh, it's Sonic Adventure 1 music too. Oh my god. I really don't like that, like, liquid. Chili Dog... G Fuel. That, oh god, this one's just unsettling, because, like, look at this. Look at this lumpy syrup, ugh. It's gross. It looks like shit, it's really gross looking. Chili Dog flavored G Fuel. There you go, that's for you, chat. You know you want it. Oh, you G Fuel lovers. I've never had G Fuel. I have no idea what it tastes like. I don't know if it- is it just like cordial? Like energy drink cordial? You just like... Powder with water? Hey pink guy, how you doing man? Welcome on in. Um... So, fake patch notes for WoW. This one, I don't know how much I'm gonna go into this. This really is for WoW lovers. But uh... Yeah. If you- if you like text-based jokes... Oh my god. You could totally do this. I, I I don't know. This is one of those things that I think that um, uh, I would say that this is for WoW fans more so. Some of them are very targeted, unfortunately. If you back in the day, WoW used to have some amazing ones. They used to put some high quality effort into theirs, and I think that they were one of the progenitors from making really good like April Fools' jokes. Um, but now it's like they're down to just doing this. Like this is a bit sad. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, don't know. Pretty sad. Anyway, you're not me. Who's this rabbit? Who's I'm? I'm not. Don't mind who's this rabbit. It's it's me. I'm inside the rabbit suit. Or is it the other way around? Am I free? <clears throat> not April uh, first for you. No, no, no. It was. It's, this is this is just a recap. It's not. It's not actual. Actually, April first. Yuki's a WoW fan? Oh, she might- she'd understand that one a bit. I'm, I'm a big WoW fan, but I'm not gonna read that patch notes because it's, it's a bit dry. But, uh, yeah. Razor unleashed hey, hair Mr. products. Viewers, getting ignored on TikTok. Not getting enough likes on Instagram? Time to glow up with the all-new Razor Rapunzel Chroma Hair Dye. A cutting-edge nanotech solution that transforms your hair from drab to fab. Engineered and infused with 1,337 active ingredients for hair that's energized, radiant, lush. All possible in just three easy steps. And that's not all. <laughs> Synced up with Razor Chroma. This one's a weird one because this, this is a kind of a weird high effort ad. However, like... Your hair truly shine. This is a weirdly high effort. Did they actually hire, like like models for this and the, did the shoot or is this using someone else's footage like turn heads i can't tell and glow up glow up glow oh it, it's totally they hired models for it that's so weird that's a high effort ad and i'm not sure it really lands the punch but razor there we go 
Anime hair is real. Gamer hair. I got gamer hair. I just rub this green liquid in. Mmm. That, that scene where she rubs this like green ooze, that's probably the worst part of it. But yeah. Razor going on in. Um, another game, if you guys want to play another game. Digital Devolver, D Digital Devolver has put out a minute fun racer. So if you guys want to play this, check it out. Razor release Snapchat or TikTok filter to RGB your hair, pretty much. Real life thing. Hang on, how do we play it? Watch the trailer and get it on Steam or Itch. Oh, you actually have to go download it. Wait, hang on, isn't that that little duck thing? It looks like a Tamagotchi. I'm fairly sure that's a Tamagotchi. But yeah, if you guys want to play it, there you go. I'm not going to go download that right now, but it, I'm assuming that's just a little, like, endless runner of sorts. It looks like an endless runner to me. But yeah. Next up. This is somewhat real, and it sort of worries me. So, if you guys didn't pick up on that, that was actually an Unreal Engine April Fools. That was a 3D dog. <laughs> that was a 3D dog. Full 3D dog here. So it's in reference to the fact that the, uh, the face feature or the create, create a human feature is in the new Unreal Engine. And then they're making out that you can actually make, uh, dogs as well. I don't think that you're going to be able to do it, but, oh, there we go. They've actually got the artists. Here we go. They got Jana Jonovic, Elena Jonovic. That's pretty cool. She did a really good job with that dog model. That's fantastic. But like. Man, people would people would kill to be able to make custom like animals as well as human features. But I think that'd be a bit heavy sort of thing. I can finally be the anime protagonist I was meant to be. Yeah. You can transform. You can go from like black hair to gold hair in an instant. Just be Goku. Just be Goku. Is there a is there a cat version of it? No, this is this is handmade. It's not it's not real. But yeah. Apply just to own a new graphics card. Uh, and when you look in the front, uh, you see eight fans, and in the back, there is four fans. But it looks very light, sir. If you've ever held a graphics uh, card, graphics uh, cards are very heavy. This guy is holding it very lightly. But yes, this is a fake so graphics card. Because the joke is of all the current generation graphics cards are so massive. So... I don't know if this is an NVIDIA like actually thing or is this some guide? Captain's Workspace. Yeah, I think this I think this is just a like a community one. Hang on, I eat. There we go, he's got it all set up now. RTX go Wait, did the can just get eaten? Did I just see the can get eaten? Yeah, it did. Look, it ate the can. The benchmark software is now ready. I'm using the good old one. It seems like it's struggling a bit. Anyway, I, I kind of like this. The e no. oh. oh, that's pretty good. No. No. This is a pretty high effort yeah. one. Yeah, after a few minor difficulties, uh, I have now finally managed to complete the test. And let's see the score. And I have got a score. It's very, it's very homebrew, but it's just, it's a good gag. I, I like this one. Uh, that was a good one. I like that one. For you fighting game fans and Fire Emblem fans. Fire Emblem's fighter. Using the uh, hero's assets, I guess. This looks really good. This is actually really well made. Like, this is just a, a fan animation, but it looks really good. People actually got tricked because some of these, it's like people like, okay, chat. If you don't know, if you go to something and it's weird, you click on the actual account 
Go see how many follows are and see how many, like, how long they've existed. This only has 215 follows. So, like, it it's not a real account. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's a fun little gag. I like that one. I cried when I saw this. I was building a stream, a stream, uh, building a stream PC and currently the average price of graphics cards is a 700 to 1,200. Well, thanks to cryptocurrency. Yes, if you want to talk about that, my mod CJ had to wait for months, months for uh, the uh, graphics card to come in. Like he bought it like on pre-order. He got like early pre-orders as well, but he was just waiting forever to get his stock in. So, but he has it now. Just crazy. Uh, we already watched that one. That was the For Honor one. It's not real, but you've won it. I know. So there's a lot of these where they'll show off something. I think. I, there's a, w a way I put into classification for April Fool's jokes, which is there is the try hard too heavy. There's the uh, like lackluster, boring, why have you bothered? There's the ones where people make it and people then really want it because it's just so cool and a great idea. And then there's ones that are like uh, just off, like offbeat, really bad taste. You shouldn't have done this. Um, but like... I think one of the weird things that I will talk about at the end of this, which is the concept of silence brand. Do you guys know that meme? Um, hang on, I'll find, I'll find you a new meme, this, this meme, because I, apparently uh, some people don't know this meme, I guess. But there's a meme called silence brand, which is about like hashtag relatable stuff. Welcome back, Alex. Um, and it's... Just a simple meme. You literally post it to any like brand that's just tryharding sort of thing to get people's like attention and stuff. And there are some of these that are kind of like that because <clears throat> it's like they're trying to make, I mean, at the end of the day, social media like and community managers and stuff are trying hard to be engaging. But some of them, it's like, like Stakeums. Like this is a Stakeum like one. Who, who, who's following the Stakeums account? What, why is there a social media account for Stakeums other than a form of communication to be able to get a hold of them to relay whatever information you might need to. But like, yeah, it kind of makes sense in that regard. But video game ones make sense. They should be engaging. They should have communities because that they're in a form of entertainment. It's not the same as like a food brand and stuff like that. But is the Razer mask coming or coming real or April Fools from Razer? I don't know. I, I I don't know that one. Forts. You might have to drop a link. I haven't seen that. You mankind catches stage fright and hides behind building before signing peace treaty. So if you know Earth Defense Force this is a good joke. It's a good running joke. Um. Uh. They say that the uh the human like aliens and then frog aliens appear. They um. Just wow. Just like us. Just like Bart. But uh, Earth Defense Force has some good humor in it. No joke, Platinum Games is releasing Soul Crestia on the Nintendo Switch. So this was like an April Fool's joke that ended up being real. Um, so Platinum's not too like shy for making weird mini game things, but uh, they're actually making stuff. The Razor Mask is real. All right, I'll have to click on it in a moment. This, this one, you can tell when something's real or fake because it's like just the amount of, the amount of detail, like this steps over that margin where it's like, there's a lot of effort here, so. I haven't actually seen this trailer, the full form trailer. Cause look at this, this, this does not look like a fake. This looks like a game. So if you don't know, Platinum is a bit notorious for putting shmups into their games and uh, yeah. That looks like a full game to me. Oh, ah. Oh. I like that. That's, I, I like that little, like, uh, the roll back on the clock. That's fun. That's, that was a good little, like, thing. <laughs> Hang on, here it is. What's hit? This is the razor mask. When the COVID-19 pandemic first hit, there was a massive global shortage of medical grade masks. We see the need project Hazel. 
identified respirator and releases heat produced from exhaling, which also prevents a buildup of CO2. Yeah, this is super duper real. Thoughts just because of the fact that it's from Jan 13th. This is from ages ago. I want the razor mask. That's so bizarre. Why why have they made this? Finally a gaming mask. What the fuck? This is so strange. This is so strange. I did not hear about this. If I if I did, I glossed over this news, but <laughs> very odd. Um, this one's fun. This one is just a fun video. Um, I won't watch all of this, but Boundary Break, if you guys know Boundary Break, he did a really good Pokemon Snap Boundary Break for April Fools. Go check that one out. It's really good. I actually really like that. Um, I might drop I might drop a link in chat. But yeah, that one that one was a bit of a fun video to watch. Um, Near Replicant, I actually will probably watch this trailer tomorrow, did a April Fool's trailer, um, and it's just showing off the silly stuff that is in Nier, like, it, that isn't necessarily all the action and story and dramatic stuff. But yeah, uh, they kind of did one, but I'll, I'll, put, I'll talk about that. It's, it's essentially just a trailer for the game, to be honest. So, <laughs> this one was good, I like this because the art's so fucking good. So the company that made the uh, those little UFO games um, that recently came to the Switch did a uh, hang on. This is gonna let me translate tweet. Um, Part-time UFO boys, Ikiman UFO share uh, a room of four and four four and a half mats and live a part-time job. Love work or friendship. P uh, pounding balance action. So it's like it's not. I don't think it's a dating sim, but it's like. It's just this fun little sim. Oh god, I, I, I actually kind of wish that this was made into a real thing. This just looks really funny and fun. The art's fantastic for both of those. But yeah, that one was good. Um, I'll, pro I, I might. I've already looked at it on the Discord, by the way, thoughts. But um, I might look at it later. Um, I'm do. I'll just get through this stuff. EB Games, local EB Games store out here winning April Fool's Day. So I, I, I think I'm out of the main game ones. I think we're into other ones now. So uh, e a local EB Games store somewhere, um, apparently in Perth, <laughs> replaced the whole heap of the, the Switch carts for like um, various TV shows and things. Cats the Musical, Laundry Day. I don't even know what that is. Shit Creek, a bag of glitter, <laughs> spaghetti, Daria. This one's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> spaghetti has medium levels of violence. Hang on, what's that say? Oh, I, I wish I could read that. It's so blurred. But yeah. Oh man. Alright, so we're kind of out of the game. I think there's still gaming ones, but I think, uh, yeah, there's still some gaming ones to go, but... Oh, I saw this one. So, it looks like Looney Tunes is full on, uh, like, accepting. This is from the official Looney Tunes, by the way. This isn't a fake one. This is 100% the official Looney Tunes has accepted Big Chungus meme. Big Chungus now is, uh, apparently a movie. Um... Can't escape Big Chungus. I, I can't, it's, this is the, this is when we approach weird territory where it's like the brands can't like start like accepting the memes. Very weird. I, a friend of mine was talking about how like, oh, perhaps we're gonna see like Big Chungus reference somewhere in the Space Jam movie. I really hope not. Oh, this one's awful. Okay, if you didn't see this. Limited time. Bubble tea. Fucking hate whoever did this. Mmm. Mmm. Just beans. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a sealer. Oh, God. No! Don't drink it! Oh, oh it'd be cold baked beans! Oh, she didn't enjoy that. <laughs> Her face at the end. <laughs> There's that wince. There's that wince. 
Uh, I thought the big Chungus meme was dead. Nah, I, I mean, some memes just take a long time to die. Oh god. I, I love- I love sealing it. I love that she seals it so she could pop a hole in it. GG Easy Bar. Hang on, isn't that in- Is this in Melbourne? Yeah, this is the Melbourne Sports Bar. I didn't realize that. They actually made, like, news because of that post. I actually haven't been there yet. I, I kind of want to see what it is, but... Anyway. <clears throat> Why? I love beans, but this is shit. I, I can't imagine doing that. That'd be just sickening. It'd be, it's cold beans, everyone. It's cold beans with mostly the sauce. Facial expression, I know. Alright, this one's a weird one. Um, Nando's, which is a chicken place in Australia. I don't know if it's elsewhere in the world. Um like, have little finger gloveys for your, uh, picking up your chips to make your chips pick up easier. And someone pointed out, these are used for rectal examinations. This is, this, these, these little finger gloves are meant to go up your butt. So these are butt gloves. Finger butt gloves on your chips. <laughs> Thanks, Nando's. I like that one because it's subtle. It's subtle. If you don't know the reference, you, it's just like, these are weird. But yes. Uh, another games one. Actually, this one was for Owl. I don't know if Owl is still there, but uh, uh, hi -res actually did one for Smite. I don't know how- I don't know what what this trailer is like, though. So it's just, it's, it's Smite Go, like, it's a very, like, it's, it's, it's just stock footage, there's a lot of stock footage it feels like in this. this oh my god, the hands, the green screen on, like, the person, like, interacting with the phone. Going up. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, the alright, alright, this ad. <laughs> this this fake ad has made it worth it, but the man getting s just splashed in the face. All right, very silly. All right, that's what I kind of more expect. Wait, something dumb. Uh, not gonna lie, you want it? No thoughts. You remember the Titanfall Optimus Prime trailer? That was a heartbreaking joke. No, I don't remember that. I don't think I saw that, uh, Miyoki. Man, it's funny because that's- it's- what I found here is, like, it's actually easy to miss a whole heap of these April Fools. Because, like, they, they can just be so many of them. Mario Death Day. So this one's a weird one. This one actually isn't an April Fools joke. Because of the fact that it's actually... for well, Mario 35 and the Mario Collection going away on the Switch. So... Everyone was talking about Mario's death. I was probably going to bring this up in the news, but the fact that it was like it turned in almost turned into an April Fool's joke, like the it just Mario is dead. Just everyone, Mario is dead. It was a thing, and uh, yeah, the company's no response does leave April for uh, April first open for a possible uh, April Fool's Day death. But I don't think Nintendo would ever do that. But it was just like it's just a bit weird, <laughs> like. I just saw everyone talking about on April Fool's Day that Mario was dead. Mario Let's Go? I mean, they w I wouldn't put them past them. I mean, they got a couple other mobile games. This one was a fun little one. This one's just, uh... uh little Nightmares 2. They've actually just made, like, a little, like, a cooking upgrade. So now you can play cooking in Little Nightmares, which is pretty cool. I want a game where Mario dies and it said Let's Go. All right, what's this? Oh, this is oh, this is Dragon Quest. This is a, a sun rises for all. Wait, it's English. This is a Japanese ad, by the way. Not the same blessing. For me, this morn is a most blessed morn indeed. Wherefore? What? 
I don't know. This just seems like a Japanese ad. I don't really feel like it's a, uh... My palms, fair sizzle with the flames of destruction. <laughs> This is just a Japanese ad. I don't understand what's happening here. And render half unto Thank you for the water forts. Kabuto of the Dragon Lord. Is that is this meant to be What What is this? I I'm very confused. I'm not 100% sure what we just watched there. Sometimes, sometimes Japan is a bit offbeat in a way that I don't know what the heck I've just watched. The Japanese seem to like it though. All right. Um, so if you didn't see, I don't know if I've actually got the other half to this. Uh, Bidoof took over the Nintendo account. So they actually just use Bidoof everywhere. So Bidoof with a logo, Bidoof like got like uh, just pictures everywhere. They were just posting nonstop about Bidoof on everything. They put out this video which I may not be able to listen to. I might get DMCA'd. All right, we might stop that music because I don't know if I'm allowed to have it, but they literally just splice together the anime with Bidoof music. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was Pokemon's uh, like post, I guess. Kabuto is a Naruto character? He is, he's the medic. Uh, Kabuto also is a uh, station as well, uh, as in like a position in uh, military in Japan. Bidoof the legendary Pokemon. Bidoof is my uh, HM slave, so he will always have a place in my heart. Okay, so if you didn't see this one, this one will probably come up in the news as well. So, uh, man, fucking Kotaku I idiots. Uh, they responded to a fake Twitter post, which you know how I showed that account before that had like it was a fake Twitter account? Kotaku didn't do the diligence to figure that out and they posted about Halo Infinite as if it was delayed, legit. They thought it was legit delayed for some reason. And then the Halo team responded and had to say, no, it's not delayed. So this is a one of those mishap situations. Um, so... <laughs> Sometimes people take April Fools a little too seriously and not realize that it's actually happening. But yeah, Kotaku fucked up there. Pretty funny. Um, Armello, if you guys know Armello the game, um, they are actually created art for a dating sim. Um, man, they're chunky. Them some chunky characters. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. There'd be, there'd be people out there, particularly furries, I think that would be uh, way into <laughs> that existing. But, uh, yeah. I still have not played Armello, by the way. It's it's a Melbourne-based one. Um, oh, this is that, that game we were talking about, the uh, Neko Drop one. So, yeah. Oh, it actually has unlockable characters and stuff. Wow, I wonder how big that game is. Bit of literally carrying the whole team. Oh, God, I like this one. This one's actually a really good one. I like this one. EB Games Australia uh, introduced the drip. If you guys uh, have not been to EB Games in Australia, oh my god, dare be di dare to be different. That's really good. I really like this. This is a really good one. This one might be my one of my favorites. So EB Games in Australia is essentially like it's a it's a video game store um, that we have. Um, it's like the main one, like everyone knows that it. it's in pretty much every town. Um, but they have this weird thing, like, that they have sales on all the time. Like, there's sales running all the time. And the store is literally covered in these weird... I, I, hang on. I, I'll, I'll see if I can find... Now, I'll see if I can find a picture of what the stores look like. Um, hang on. Check it out. This this is literally what the stores look like. H half the time, the stores just look like this. Like, I legit, you could go anywhere, and this is what it is. 
the stream is super delayed for you. Yeah, sometimes people get that. I'm not sure. But yeah. Oh, hi. That seems like a nice saw. Like, oh man, how do I say the name? Copper, Copper and Ovan JP. How you doing? Oh, hi. That seems like a nice store. They, these stores, they're crazy. I, EB Games, at any time in the year, will look like this. It's just sales on all the time. Sales all day, every day. You ready for sales? It's time for sales. So they've made a joke about it on their own official thing and made a shirt. I kind of would love this shirt because it's such a good reference. No one would know what it is. It's, but if you know, you know. Why so many sales? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but very funny. I like that one a lot. <clears throat> What's this one? Oh, I didn't, the, oh, I didn't grab the Digimon Metabots one. Hang on, I have to grab Digimon Metabots meme. Uh, April Fools. They actually did a really good April Fools cover. Um, and it became real. Hang on. I can already do it. Uh, Azorus did uh, a little digital pet for some product. I don't know what Azorus is. I saw this one brought up. Hang on, we'll click on it to find out. Sometimes it's not much is on sale though, but it's rare. Yeah, I know, Mouse. Like, it's such a lie. I mean, it's so weird. That I don't know. EB is a weird store. I don't. I don't go to physical stores anymore for for buying things. I guess it's computers. I guess they do computer parts. And then they got like a digital pet that comes with it. Yeah, it's just straight up like a little digi pet. That's actually really cute. I actually dig this. It actually looks cool. Like a little digi pet. That's fun. I actually, this is, this is high effort for something that's just sort of out of nowhere. Like really high effort. Why is this so high effort? Whoever does their, their media, like their imagery and stuff, did a fantastic job. That look, this just looks, this is a really nice page. Like, it, and it matches, this look is a, probably a, a legit device that they're probably selling. And then they've made this, which looks really cool. I should watch the new movie. The new movie is Fantastic Four. So if you haven't watched the new movie, it, it actually is a really, a separate to Digimon, is just a fantastic movie. I really like it. Such talented graphical designers. I agree. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, Co I want to try and say your name right. Kopanov. Kopo, Kopanov, and I can't say Kopanoven, 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 JP. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. So, Digimon, moving on from that one, there was actually a Digimon event for. Guys, if you want to know where I've been, I'm like, well, not necessarily where I've been. Where I've been wasting a lot of time uh, is. I've been playing a lot of Digimon Arise again. I, I reopened it, started a new account, been playing free to play, but they've actually uh, released a crossover event for these two characters, uh, which is um, half Digimon, half Metabots. And uh, they are pretty cool. Um, I don't know why they haven't actually got uh, the video for it. Hopefully it's on the Twitter. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. This might be a little crunchy of a video because it's Twitter, but like you get to see the super. But uh, pretty cool. I actually wouldn't mind getting these. I think it'll be on the Japanese version of the game for a, for a while. It probably I don't even know if we'll get it. Just cop is fine. Thanks. No prob. Makes it easy on me. I like when people say that. I like nicknames. The super straight flag. What? <clears throat> So it's talented graphic designers. I that's I I would say Mousling that the the two th the two people that can stretch their wings during these time periods are the um the graphic designers, the media designers, um and also the community managers. The combination of those two being able to just have a bit of freedom during this time period is really good. Um, so you can just have some really fun things. But yeah, that one's a really good. I like that Metabots Digimon one. Um, what's this? Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, okay. Here, all right. We're now out of games territory. We're now just doing stuff, guys. Now it's like we'll just finish up with just. If you guys have some cool like April Fools stuff that you had seen that you would just want to show off, go for it. Um, this one is uh, Terminal Montage. If you've never watched his animations, Terminal Montage, very cool dude. Uh, very fun Monster Hunter animations and various others. 
Um, but he released a Melly Fox and Marth ASMR. It's just click clacks of the GameCube controller. <laughs> Hang on, I'll turn it up for you guys. I'll get you some ASMR in there. Is that good? Is that doing it for you? It's 11 minutes, by the way, this video. I thought that was a good one. I like that one. Oh, there's another games one. I missed a games one. Um, Valorant, World Expands. Have a look at Valorant, Age of Romance. Um, so another, there's a lot of, holy shit, there's so many visual novels. I think this, I think people need to get off the using the visual novels for, uh, uh, or romance ones for video games because it's like I know you can spread your wings with art and you just can just do fun UI and art and stuff like that, but it's a bit it's a bit simple, but uh, people really like it. Clicks. Um, no, what the heck? Oh my god, it tried to make me sign up to Burger King. Anyway, Burger King. So we got we're now in brands. You know, I talked about the brand stuff like Silence brand. We got a bit of them now, um, just because they're easy ones to grab. Uh. But Burger King, which is, I, uh, do you guys call it something different in America? I don't know if you guys call it something different in America. Um, but uh, they did a weird uh, ice cream sandwich. They're Hershey pie dough. So it's pie dough? Is that what it is? You can tell it's very much edited, like considering like that bottom base doesn't change and someone's just edited over. But uh. These are pretty weird. It's just cookies. These are just cookies and cookie dough. <laughs> nah, it's Burger King. Wait, sorry, hang on. Hungry... Sorry, I got it wrong. You guys have Burger King. We have Hungry Jacks. We have Hungry Jacks in Australia. For some reason. It's just Burger King. But yeah. Food review? Food review. But uh, yeah. I'd probably eat that. I'd try that. That looks like junk foodie enough to just like get a bite into it. I, mean, I wouldn't put it past me. Uh, dare a milkshake in uh, Australia did a Vegemite flavor. This is evil. This would be evil. This would be the most evil thing ever if you drank this. Vegemite is like so bitter. <laughs> I can't. I can't stress how salty and bitter Vegemite is. If you combine that with milk, that'd be disgusting. Please eat Maccas in Australia. Japanese, we say McDonald's. With McDonald's, yes. Yeah, I actually don't mind McDonald's in Japan um, when I went there. Our, our, our Maccas is all right. I, I, I actually like Maccas in Australia. It's it's quite nice. Um, I think our fast food isn't too bad. America's, America and Canada, uh, but yeah. Burger King changed their name in Australia, yeah. Yeah, it's it's now um for us it's Hungry Jacks because we had like a there's a so the story is I don't know if it's actually true there is a Burger King in uh like some of the northern states or something like that um that they owned the brand and they would refuse to move and they couldn't uh, push out like this small company so it was one of those things where it was like well I guess we better rebrand and so we have Hungry Jacks here and I mean I don't mind Hungry Jacks as a brand name but certainly isn't Burger King. Mm. Also, that's pretty cool that you are in JP, uh, Copper. Like, I, it's like, it make, like, you guys have, like, so many, like, takeaway places, but so few that are, like, Western fast food places, I would say. <clears throat> I stayed in uh, Sydney and I tried Vegemite. It was too salty for noob. <laughs> Yeah, so Copper, the joke is when people come to Australia or we get involved, you get involved with Australians, people send a jar of Vegemite and then the joke is tell them to lay it on thick. You want to put it on really thick. That's how we have it. We do not. No one does. No one puts a thick dollop of Vegemite on anything. It's a thin spread. It is a very, very thin spread. Basically, you can still see the toast through the spread when you're spreading it. It is very, very bitter. Um... Vegemite and Marmite are like, you wanna, you wanna use minimally. Um, I actually prefer them with a bit of either cream cheese, butter, or melted cheese on top, if you're gonna have it as toast. If you're just doing it, like, it's just a toast spread usually, and that's the way to do it. But other people do, like, weird things, like they put it in other cooking things. I've seen it in a few different recipes, and it's not a bad idea, but I've seen people, like, put it through pasta and stuff, and I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't want it in pasta, that's bizarre. 
<laughs> oh, that's interesting. It's the same, uh, sort of the same service, but with different names. Yes, yeah, basically, yeah. It happens, Alex, sometimes. It depends on when it goes to a different country, uh, whether or not the branding has to, can be to stick around. Should have known that. Um, this one's Deliveroo. This one's another just a simple brand one, Australian brand. I, I ended up grabbing a lot of Australian ones just because it was just me searching quickly. Um, but yeah, you can order food for your dog. I actually wouldn't mind that because sometimes you just run out of food for your, your, your cat or your dog. And then, uh, yeah. This one actually was submitted to me by Mouseling because um, I asked like, is there any, ones, any cool stuff that people had done um, during uh, like April Fools and a streamer, Arix, um, actually rebranded all his Twitch icons to this weird duck face with googly eyes. It's so good. These are so good. I kind of, I kind of wouldn't love these being like, um, being, uh, I kind of wouldn't mind these being real. These are fantastic little emotes. I really like this. this so thank you for that, Mousling. Um, Subway Australia actually made a coriander cookie, which is disgusting. Um, this would taste like soap. Mousling, hey Mousling. I was talking about those, um, I was talking about those emotes that you sent me. Uh, the Arix ones. They're still live? Well, oh yeah, they are too. I wonder how long it's going to take him to change it, because it takes a long time. Is, is I'm assuming he's a partner, because you can change them more regularly if you're a partner, but it takes a long time for normal people. But uh, yeah, that would be disgusting, that. Um, there was a cartoon spinoff. Cartoon Network did a few things, um, but they made spinoff cat shows, every single show being catified, which I'm fairly sure isn't that show already about cats. <laughs> cats of the Creek. I, I, some of these I don't know, actually. Teen Titans Meow. There was like, they had like a full on page. There's like a whole heap of stuff about that. So that was Cartoon Network. Oh, there was Adult Swim. Wow, they actually animated these. Wow, there's some refer- oh my god, there's some real old references here. I actually love this. Wow. That one's pretty good, I like this one. See, this is what I was talking about, where this is decently high effort. Like, they've got uh, like, they've got like boondocks in here. They had like, ghost coast- it's like ghost coast coast to coast. What the hell? Harvey Birdman, Venture Bros. Like, th th there's some good ones. Uh, Metalocalypse. Like, there's some good references in here. That's a good one. I like that one. That was a fun one. They're a partner? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, you'd be able to change them pretty fast if you're a partner. They're all based on this one burb. He was playing ke uh, Kenku in D&D. Oh, playing a Kenku in D&D. A mod uh, who does his emotes spent like 12 hours editing the emotes and needed some redrawn to make them work. Yeah, I was mousing. When I was looking at them, like some of these look like you might actually have to adjust them because I don't think you can just slap a mouth on them. That's a lot of effort. But if he's a partner, he could probably afford paying his uh, editor to go do that. I watch a cartoon, so I know all those cat cartoon versions of April Fool thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think some of these are some, some pretty good calls that they've done this one. Uh, all right, well, this will probably be the last one, unless you guys want any that you want to show off. But uh, this one, this one was just a weird thing that I saw up. Another weird Australian one. Um, so, South Australia, you're way too horny. What the hell? Go down south with your mouth. This was like an advertisement to promote South Australia. And it kind of looks almost legit. Before... April Fools, because this is March 31st. So I don't know if this is real. I don't know if this is actually like something that we're promoting South Australia with, but uh, I think it sort of speaks for itself. They looked amazing in stream yesterday though. The chat loved it, I bet so. Thank you was a race in D&D, uh, uh, thoughts. 
But yeah. Alright. Is this almost good as see you in the NT? Yes, I know. I saw that one actually brought up Mousling. I saw that one brought up. That was pretty funny. But yeah. Alright, well that's all the April Fools for today. Um, and uh, we're going to play a bit of Monster Hunter, I think, now. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, again, I had to get that out of my system because that took like an hour to get through. Um, so that was an hour's worth of April Fools. So if I had done that with the, the game news, it would have just been too much. It would have just been absolute destroyed me. It would have been two hours of doing stuff. Anyway, so we're going to do a bit of Mon Hun um, and uh, then we will do a bit of Mon Hun. I think today's just Mon Hun. I don't think I'm playing any other games. Um, if you guys didn't see the schedule, um, we are actually going to be doing, um, uh, we'll be doing Monster Hunter and starting a new Nuzlocke this week. So, um, we'll be doing Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Random Nuzlocke. Um, and I, I, I had, like, I was watching CJ play it and I was getting a real bad itch to play Pokemon again. I know that I wanted to play um, Digimon, but I just, I always like, I always get stuck sometimes and uh, end up doing uh, like, I need to play a game really bad. So anyway, uh, let's switch on over. Hang on, let's have a look at this art that Forza sent me. <clears throat> Any feedback to improve? I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't cr critique someone's artwork live on stream, Forts. But if you guys want to go over and uh, have a chat to Forts about his art separate on the Discord, um, go for it. Um, I, I do have a section on the Discord, if you guys don't know, that um, actually has like, you can put your art up and all your creative works. Um, um, where are we? Where's Mini Browser? Ah, uh, whoa. Right, whoa. It's not that easy. That is completely the wrong thing. That is completely the wrong thing. Where'd it go? This is the bitty browser I want. What the hell was that? I don't, I don't even know what that was, chat. But uh, yeah, this is Fort's artwork. Is this your OC or is this you, uh, Forts? You can shit on it if you like. No, I, I would never do that, Forts. I would never do that. Hey, Dai, do you have merch? I want to represent. Not right now, Miyoki. I, I can't... The, so a big part of uh, me doing the transition from being a Palico and the more Monster Hunter stuff is I can't actually sell any branded stuff as a Monster Hunter character, unfortunately. It's, um... <laughs> Capcom would be right on my ass for that. Your OC, you don't have a name for him yet? He's pretty cool. Very anime. You got your abs showing. Very windy day. Do you do a lot of art forts? But yeah, it's good. I like it. It's your first OC? Oh, you guys, you guys be ready. My OC is coming, I'm telling you. That's actually me, Waddy. Waddy, you actually muscly as fuck? Is that what you're telling me? I really want to get back into life drawing because I find it improves my art every time I get back into it. It really does, Mouseling. There's, um, if you, I follow a lot of artists on, uh, Twitter and various sources, and, uh, it's definitely one of those things that, um, if you, if you want to learn life, if you want to learn body shapes and poses and things like that, life drawing is very, 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 very good. Um, it helps you understand also just, like, sort of positional stuff and then also, like, clothing as well, because it make you understand, like, why clothing fits to the body in a particular way if you understand what's underneath. Like, so yeah. I bought a book on how to draw in a manga style. Oh yeah. Made by a manga university. Crazy. That's cool, Forts. That'll help you a lot. But uh, yeah, all right. We should probably jump on into Monster Hunter. So, uh, yeah. Again, I probably don't think I'll do anything super special for Easter. I think we're just going to have the Easter crap around everywhere. I've just surround myself with chocolate. What I wish I could do on cho on Easter day is just fill my face with chocolate and I'll stream myself just eating chocolate, but that's probably a bad idea. I said, me ah, <clears throat> excuse me. I had so many good life drawing resources saved on Tumblr and then it got all deleted when they cracked down on nudity. Oh, mousling. 
Yeah, Tumblr, Tumblr kind of went to shit. Like, there was so much stuff where they were, like, just causing all these problems, things cracking down, changing things, like, making it so you couldn't see certain things from certain areas. Like, yeah, I, a lot of people that I followed on Tumblr ended up moving away a long time ago, so I haven't used it in a long time. But they have a, a lot of useful shit, and they have courses on how to draw, and they speak Japanese. Oh, cool. ASMR chocolate stream. It might it might become a bit of that ass thing. I might not be able to stop myself and I just stuff my face with chocolate. I'll make myself sick live on stream. For